Hello? Nessa! Stick together and let's do this! Is this a disco? This I do not like. I could use some help! Hit your pulse! This is not good. This is not good. What if we open the doors and run? Just run. No stopping, no shooting, just straight to the bridge. Get that flash out! Heavy. Really? We call them tanks. I call them brutes. From Latin, brutus. We'd sound smart calling them brutes. Gion, you don't want to get in here and help name these? Nah, I'm good. Brutes! The Anacrucis is looking like a game I didn't realize I needed in my life. And here, from Stray Bombay, to tell us more about the Anacrucis is Chet Felisek. Chet, thank you for being here. Oh, thanks for having me. Now, talk to me about this game, the Anacrucis. What's the concept? How, how did you come up with this? So I grew up with late 60s, early 70s sci-fi. I love that stuff, right? Logan's Run, yes. uh, you know, Battlestar Galactica Space 1999. That wasn't cheesy to me or campy. That was just the way sci-fi yeah. was. And so we wanted to set a game in that world, right? We have those cool colors, cool shapes, fantastical sci-fi weapons and creatures. And then it also lends itself to, we wanted something that was positive about the players, the characters, you're working together, sure, there's aliens, sure, you're fighting them, sure, you're trying to save Earth, but you're doing it in a positive, uplifting way. Yeah, I just, after the pandemic, I don't think I could go back to a dreary, post-apocalyptic world. I need something uplifting, and so we wanted yeah. to deliver that. that. That's awesome. Now, talk to me about the gameplay. You, you've said that there's an infinite replayability to this, so, so how does that factor in? Yeah, so there's four-player co-op because you're playing with your friends, and what we want to do is make sure that it's different every time you're playing it. And so we have a lot of different systems that do that, but underneath it all is the idea of the AI driver. The AI driver is driving everything that's happening in the game with items, where they're placed, what's happening with the creatures, what's happening with your health kits, your perks, all of those systems are driven off of that. And so what that means is, as you're playing, not only do you have those, hey, this last time we played this, there was nothing here, and this time we're being overwhelmed. Yeah. And then you also have those peaks and valleys so that you have some downtime and then you have some really big uptime in it, or you know, a lot of combat happening in it. We're also monitoring how the people are playing. So if you're first time playing and your team isn't doing very well, we'll put health kits right on the main path for you to find. And then if you don't find them at first, we'll, we'll spawn a couple more later. But if you're really good, if you're really killing it, well, we might not put anything on the main path. And so if you want to go find your perks or if you want to go find new weapons, you have to go off that main path and go search for that. And it makes the game just a little bit harder, but in a way more interesting way than just saying, hey, let's double the health of all the enemies. Right. right. And then we do something of, we actually look from session to session as well. So if you play with the same three friends every week, and you guys have been killing it for 10 weeks in a row, well, let's mix it up for you. Let's just throw something crazy at you that you've never seen before in a million aliens. And we can do that because you know, normally when you do difficulty, you've got to be here because you don't know what happened before or after. But here, we have these really big peaks and valleys so we can bring you to nothing for a little bit and then have you have it go crazy. I love that it's, it's scaling to, to your, basically your, your skill level, right? Exactly. So, so that, yeah, that's fantastic. Now, kind of deeper dive more into the perk system that you're going to have in the game. So for the perks, we looked at a lot of games where you start with, um, let's say, a class-based thing. And then, you know, if you're playing with your same friends, well, I'm going to be support, you're going to be carry, someone else is going to be... Like, we, we kind of get into a rut of what systems we're playing and how we're playing. And so we want to be able to mix that up so that every time you're playing, you're also kind of choosing your role based on the perks you're getting. So perks come in this thing called the Mata Compiler, and you have to go find the Mata Compilers in the world, and once you find one, you'll have from one to three perks to choose from. And then over time, you're essentially building a deck for your, for your character. And so you might have it where, if you saw in the trailer, there's a pulse, which is kind of like a, a melee shove. Well, you can invest into that, and you can have one that you can now recharge your pulse faster, and now it protects your, uh, other players around you. And then it gets more powerful, and you can actually do damage with it. So all of a sudden, you went from being a support character playing in the back to leading the charge going forward and knocking yeah. down aliens and everyone else blasting them. Or you'll get a bunch of perks that are about um, investing in one weapon and making it where when you do headshots, it actually does damage to other aliens around. So now you're the sniper hanging back. 
And so it's really mixing up that kind of experience that you're having. And you'll earn these perks as you play. So the more you play, the more perks you have. But since we want the game to always be great to play with your friends, if you've, if you've been playing, you know, I'll say you play with me. I've been playing 400 hours. You're brand new. Yeah. Well, we share the perks. So you get all the perks that I have available to me as well. So that way you yeah. could have that experience of all that craziness right. in your game as well. Because it's all about having fun with your friends. Right. The shared experience w- with your friends. Now, we kind of already talked about the inspirations like, like 2000. I looked at that and it was like 2001 Space Odyssey was the first thing I thought of. But let's talk more about the enemies in the game. What, what was some of the inspirations for that? So the enemies um, is we kind of look at it of how we want the players to behave as well as feel. And so we bring in outside playtesters every week. They play our game, we watch them, and what we'd see is really good teams would stick together really tightly. And even if we send something like the brood at them that spreads them apart, they'd quickly form back together. So we created something called the spawner. Yeah. And this is a good example of kind of how we approach the design. The spawner, you hear off in the distance, and you'll hear it, and you know what it's doing. It's spawning things. It yeah. spawns these little turrets that come at you. They're not the worst thing, but they're going to be unrelenting until you kill the spawner. And so you'll be sticking with your team, and you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, if the spawner comes now, and this turrets come, and we've got a guy down, we've got to go over there, I'm not sticking with my team. I'm going to go hunt that thing down, and I'm going to go kill it. So you go run off, you kill it, you're feeling good about it, and then all of a sudden you realize, wait, where are my teammates? I'm all alone, there's other specials here, oh, I'm in trouble. And it's trying to create those kind of moments where it's mixing it up, where you always want to have it where it kind of almost takes turns of one player's the last one surviving, they're the last one up, and they're helping everybody else up and get it going. And so really looking at having those enemies give you those moments for how it affects the players. Bonus question for you. What does the anacrusis actually mean? So anacrusis is a musical term. It means the, the notes before the song, the little, the little kind of intro. And for this, we have a character, Boris, that you never meet. Mm-hmm. Um, and all the other parallels just talk about it, because I thought it was fun to have this character that you never really are sure who they are because it's everyone else describing it. And she um, named the barge that you're on, that you're launching these missions, the Anacrusis. And her thought there was, this is not the main event. This is not us against the aliens with fighter pilots and everything else. This is just regular people. This is the pre-battle to the battle. This is finding out about these aliens and what just happened. Oh, that, that sounds so cool. Again, the Anacrus, the, everything that you talked about today, it sounds amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But Chet, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. We've got so much.